connection, other people wanting to share with us. Um, and sometimes when we engage, we want to reflect how we're engaging. In other words, um, we may feel um, that we're engaging in, um, we send something out and we do it with good intention. But if we ourselves are stressed, the stress level will go out and affect the words in an email or a text message, which we all know, right? Those words go out um, the energetically and they're felt more by other people. So somebody with a good intention of responding to somebody else, this is not me, this is an example, um, may think that they're connecting in a, in a good way and they are within themselves, but the message is not received. And you don't know when the other person's receiving it, where that other person is in terms of their issues. They could have no money coming in. They could have, they may be very happy and gotten something that, that they're excited about, or they may have lost a job or going through stress themselves. So you've got two energies um, on either end, <laughs> receiving and, and giving back messages. And I guess, as we move forward, um, just reflect deeper what we are saying or sending out. And my stop, look, love, and listen. It used to be, you know, you cross the road, so you stop, you look, and you listen for the what's going on. And I used, I've got a card where I put in stop, look, love, and listen. We've talked about this before. And that was to stop yourself and love yourself and then listen. And because the timings and the frequency is getting so high, a couple days ago, I was to stop and love. There was no looking, there was no anything. There was just stop and love. Love yourself, take a breath, breathe, and then look at what's happening and then listen. And when you're listening, listen with your ears and your heart and your mind and your soul. And then you need to stop again and love because it may engender things in you and then respond <laughs> because we're now to uh, love with wisdom leads to correct action and wisdom with love leads to correct action. But as Manakshi said, um, and I say now, we really need to remember grace. Grace is our soul connection to source. And we want to listen and respond with grace and wisdom. So good intention without grace, without wisdom, without listening and looking will lead to probably actions where you get responses back. And that's fine because you're not gonna be stopping and looking and listening all the time, you're going to be living. But the more that you live from that point of grace, which is what we're gonna do as we connect into our meditation, you connect to that soul source and you connect to that light with which you carry and you open so that you can clear your issues allow them to come up again. More and more things are coming up to clear ancestral and ancient connections. And with these is the wisdom of people who've been with us for a long time and allowing them to become the flower, the lotus on the pond and let them float around and off because we're all lotuses 
floating on the pond of life. And we don't have to have, we don't have to cut the cords. We can love the cords and they shift out and our energy frequency becomes that of pure light and love. It becomes that of grace. And the lighter that we get, the more that we may see things around us that are happening, but we see them from grace so that they're not judged, they're not criticized, they're just understood. It's knowledge, it's information. And we don't have to take it and do anything but just let it be. So with that, are there any other questions before we meditate or sharing? No? Okay, <clears throat> let's um, close our eyes. If you need, take a glass of water and have a drink. <clears throat> and just get comfortable turning off your speakers and allowing yourself to feel, feel your presence, feel you, feel who you are as a being, feel the body that you're in. Feel the mind energy around you. Breathe in. Breathe in and relax. Relax and allow your body to float. Allow your body to take in the coding of source and the one creator connection. Feel you're connecting deeper, deeper within your core, within your heart. Feel that point of oneness through your third eye, through your mind's eye, within the very essence of your brain and your physical body. Feel the energy coming up and out of you. Feel the old energies dispersing from your body. As you breathe in, relax deeper and deeper and find yourself floating, floating up into a pyramid of light. You are floating in the middle of this pyramid of light. It is a beautiful, luminescent, golden white light pyramid. Find yourself sitting or lying or standing in this pyramid. This pyramid reflects the mathematical and design equations that resound in your cellular memory and your body frequencies on the earth plane with the plants, with the earth, with sound frequencies. In this pyramid, you move into the very heart and soul of the God source, of the prime creator, of the one. You relax deeper and deeper as your hands and body fall limp at your sides. You can still feel your presence. You can still feel your energy around you and through you. You will note that the energy of the cells carry atoms, the atomic structure of creation in the physical plane around the universe. You will feel these atomic structures resonating at the highest frequency beyond the planet back into source code. The mitochondria, the DNA, RNA, and all the filaments that are within these cellular memories around the cell are being affected into the higher frequencies of knowledge, abilities, and skills that you will carry back down on the earth. 
these structures begin to transform and release. You will feel lighter and lighter as the fluid of your body becomes lighter and stronger, carrying only the higher frequencies required for your journey on the earth plane. These frequencies carry words that resonate at these high frequencies. They carry a vibration that is flowing through your body right now. The release and the dissolving of the ancient codes and memories through each portal of the body is releasing all tensions and viruses and bacteria that no longer resonate with your higher frequency coding. The blood in your body is beginning to shift, taking on new oxygen through the cells of your skin. The vibrational fields of the that you carry, the emotional body and the spiritual body are beginning to breathe that is being down the earth plane and through the waters. Your body breathes in the green on the earth plane now at a new level. You exchange and you will radiate new coatings from your skin, from your energy fields and throughout your body and your mind and your memory. We ask that you invite your I am self to bring up issues that need clearing, whether they be with family members, friends, ancient past, understandings that you've held that no longer resonate for curses and promises and codings of the ancient times from this moment forward will no longer be your light coding that you breathe in and resonate with. You will find pathways opening up to you. So while it is important that you question perhaps what comes to you, we ask that you relieve yourself of questions and move into the divine trust and grace of the God source that you are on earth, knowing that you bring with you everywhere you go, a higher resonance of insight, of knowledge, of knowing and of trust deeply within your third eye as it opens farther and farther down through your high heart that begins to open and resonate with the energy forces, the electromagnetic frequencies around the earth, the other divine beings that are on the earth. It opens the floodgates of more and more love and compassion flowing through luminescent colors down into your heart that opens the electrical magnetic grid around your body. The light circles flow around you. And with them comes the red light, illuminating your entire body around you and up and throughout the pyramid, through the top of the pyramid through the top of your head and through the bones and blood that you carry. This light frequency resonates out through your fingertips, through your being. The red turns into orange energy from the I am will and passion and discernment you move into pure energy of manifesting 
the upper limits of love and compassion and grace with orange. The orange turns into yellow healing around your body, lighting up the smiles particles, the particles of rays and the ribbons of light that flow from your body that heal automatically through understanding the wisdom of the ancient ones, the wisdom of the cosmos that is coming onto the planet to be integrated into the human conscious awareness with love, with the manifestation of your own miracles of your thoughts, your physical hands, and your actions. It moves up and around your body further into green and harmony. For wherever you go, this resonance of green is now intermingling with your very own coding colors that you were brought in with. This green harmony is moving into your energy fields and into your soul to add into it a harmonization that you can carry to others around you when your presence is there. It will begin to bring harmony to those that carry a dissonance within them, a peace. We want you to know that you carry this peace. You must express that to others when they are confused. So you will bring them confusion. You will bring them new energy. It is only testing them, dear souls. For your light resonates differently. Stay in this frequency of light and love, of green heart of harmony. It moves up. It moves up as the colors of light blue, deep blue, turquoise blues resonate around your body, bringing you compassion, pure love, ultra light, divine wisdom, and grace. It moves into the core of your body deeper and deeper and deeper into the violet light, into the violet frame of lavender and purple and indigo through your third eye, down through your cord, down into the earth, to the diamond earth below, transforming and transmuting all that are on the earth plane with the fire of the violet light, the pure light of human essence, of compassion, love, freedom, ultralight residents, spatial light residents, spatial light frequencies of your divine connection of all space and time from where you are, from whence you come, from where you will be. You enfold this, you embody this, you embrace this, you breathe in the light. You breathe out the light. You now resonate with the new light frequencies of source code. We thank you for being present. We thank you for taking this time to emanate. We ask that you recognize that this will cause disturbance in those around you for a time until they adjust to your no frequencies that you carry. Just breathe in and out the light and remain the divine beings that you are. Stay in the presence of this and listen to the music.
allowing yourself to breathe in slowly, staying with your presence from whence it is. Allow yourself to breathe in your essence of truth. Allow yourself to breathe in the light and expand your consciousness into the divine universal cosmic being that you are. Sense that energy stronger and lighter. Sense it healed all that is within you. And it will bring forth a path for you each moment of greater joy as you live with freedom, as you speak with others with your joy, with your open heart, seeing all there is as learning, as insights, as a knowing, as a trusting. Come back, come back from where you are into the room, remembering that you carry the pyramid around you. You can go to it any time in your third eye or around you to heal, to transform. Take in this moment and breathe in the light and come back to open your eyes slowly. feeling the divine presence around you of all that there is and all that there will be. And so it is. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come back and welcome back and Would anybody like to share? Um, Unplug yourself if you would like to share. And um, Terry? I just want to say thank you. Because every Sunday, um, you literally recharge my batteries. Oh, thank you. And I feel whatever I take away from this experience every Sunday, it stays with me throughout the week. And then by Friday, Saturday, I can't wait for the next meditation because I need, I don't know, that's what it does for me. It, it um, centers me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nina, would you like to share? Yes, before the meditation start, I was with that situation and I was counting seconds, as Terry said, to start the meditation. I needed to enter to that sacred space that you create for us. I, today was so beautiful. I feel so light. I was floating. I saw the colors. I feel recharged. And um, for that moment, I, I saw my body disappear and I just feel like only the, my essence. And um, um, in another moment, when you start mentioning the colors, I felt like I have a peacock tail and it was like waving and I felt so beautiful. So my experience today as every Sunday is so beautiful, so pure, so it fills me, all my cells, my brain, my vibes, everything is better than being in a spa. <laughs> Our spiritual spa. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Um, you know that everyone that's here is is that you are the meditation, you are that energy, and you know that you carry that energy. And you are embodying what I channel down and bring. So you carry that. And they want you to know that the minute that you think of this, that meditation or your meditation or your connection, 
your light will actually expand tenfold. And the more that you connect to that resonance that you're feeling and sensing, it will do a hundredfold. And it's the sound of source within you, within me, within all of us. It's the colors. And so just remember that. Thank you so much. Minakshi? You know, uh, Tavita, I was thinking, and I really want to share with people because I know you for so many years. And always, uh, Tavita is the person that you can go to with your deepest, like, pain, you know, or trouble. And you will always feel that she is, uh, she can take your pain, but she can also take your light. And that's a beautiful combination. Very rare to get. That's what I feel about Savita. And really, it is such a blessing. I got such a beautiful clearing of some things which have been uh, bothering me, which I was sharing with Savita before the meditation. And uh, it brought a very beautiful sense of, uh, you know, sometimes when two people who are, who are both light are relating to one another, it's like they are on, you know, it's, it's not parallel, but a little off, a little off time. And so they'll both say wonderful things, but not realize that the other is saying something wonderful. And I think it's very important for all of us because the language of light and of love is not always easy to understand at this human level. So how we, how we connect with one another, and I think just in the meditation right now, I was able to speak with my heart and I just felt such a beautiful peace. So thank you so much, Savita, and everyone, because yes, it's true, everyone's presence here helps a lot. Yes, thank you. It, it, it actually, as we were there, that energy that we generated went out to our family and friends. It's not as though we have to specifically think of them. It's like when we do our work and we connect to source and realize that we are that source here on earth and every molecule, every particle is that. And then we connect to us. That light that we hold with the love goes out to our family and friends, wherever they are to feel it and shift them and help transform them automatically. It just, it was blowing my mind how, because I can see it, it's gone to family and friends who may have had misunderstandings or people and help transform and connect with the energies around the earth. And I think many of you will be seeing this, can see it, can know it anyway, so. Thank you, Minakshi. Um, anybody else have anything to share? <laughs> silence is golden. Actually, silence is golden. Hi, hi Tavita, um, this is Tanis. Oh, Tani, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. I apologize, I, I have issues with the camera, so you can only hear my voice, but I wanna echo what Nina and Terry and Minakshi have already said. Um, to me, this was a, a much necessary reboot and um, sort of a, a energy immune system uh, <laughs> session. So, so thank you. This was this was wonderful. I felt um, lighter and, and and definitely some some uh, I guess reshifting and reprogramming that needed to occur. So, so thank you so much for for um, for what you do. You know, it's it's a blessing to have these meditations. With you. So, so thank you again. Thank you. Thank you very much. And. Um... Yes, sometimes, I guess that's the thing. Sometimes we're going through stuff. And um, in the Bible, I, one of my courses was where we look at all the different religions and we look at science and we connect the dots and build a matrix like a spider's web on top of a spider's web. And we see that as we're, as we connect these, as we, link into them, we, we uplift and gain, we go through some trials and tribulations, but 
we see the insights. It's no longer resonating at hardship, challenges. It moves up into lessons, insight, and gifts. And so we ask, what is this new gift I'm getting from it? And we can clear. We clear it or we love it away. I remember at one point in time, um, my right shoulder, my, my mother had a problem with her right shoulder. And of course, I seem to be open taking others issues. <laughs> and, um, and then my sister had a problem with her right shoulder. She was um, boarding in Hawaii or something and fell off the board or something. And she had a problem with the right shoulder. And then one day my shoulder was hurting and I went, okay, <laughs> I've got a problem with my shoulder. And I thought, I'm not having this. No, this isn't for me. I just, I don't need it. So there are many ways and tools when we get down or have tests or get sick um, to work with them. And they're all the tools are great. And one is just to say, no, I'm not, I'm not taking this. I'm not having this, this isn't mine. And you must remember to send it back to where it came from, but back with light and love. And the reason you send it back is because you are honoring the other individual, their issues. You're realizing people around the planet have, have things they go through. And so while they may be doing it on purpose or not on purpose, it, it has no bearing in the situation. You just send it off with light and pure love. You may or may not know where it's coming from. The other thing is that when the, the little voice talks to you, and this is the flowing, the flowing is to listen, listen to your inner voice. The more that you listen, the more that that higher self, that guide comes through and tells you things. And one of the things they were telling me is that I used to use all different healing modalities from, um, from tapping EFT to um, bowls to um, essential oils to homeopathic remedies and so on. And um, I was wondering what I should be doing to shift energy because when you're open, um, you want to shift the energy off you so that things don't come to you. And we want to do it in a state of grace. And um, they kept telling me oils. And I think it was Minakshi, <laughs> was it Minakshi you? Yes, who said, was said use, um, oh no, no, it was somebody else. She said, use white Angelica. And I forgot all about, um, I was using Gary Young's, um, they're very high vibration or essential oils. They, they were the highest vibration. As a matter of fact, when a friend of mine in Singapore said, I've got this great, this great thing and she held it. And I went, I immediately started to heal. I was having something in my head and body and I just tapped into it over the phone. So as we get lighter, we have to remember we are open to feeling all frequencies. But as we stay in the light, in the love that we generate, seeing the beauty and living with grace, it doesn't affect us. When we fall down just a tiny bit, then we use the tools. And so the white angelica, I put here and I put here. And um, I, I just cleared. I don't have to take on the energies. I can realize that I know my healing work is to do it daily, to tap into source, to tap into the energy field, whatever your work is to do. And to just, as you clear and get lighter, that light goes out into the electromagnetic energy fields. So if you trust and you know that, and you listen to the voice that says, use the oils, use the 
the homeopathy, use the tools that you have, you are able to stay in that frame. There are words too, because this past week, someone else said one of her, her, her granddaughter, her, her, her husband's um, son's daughter, she thinks that she is um, possessed or has an energy being over her. And because of these times that we're in, as lighter as we get lighter and lighter, there are more energy beings that want to share in the light that haven't been in the light. And everything is fine, it, wherever it is. It's only to hold grace for it. So if you must do cures or clearing space, there are words you can say that will help also clear energies uh, that are in beings out of them to allow them to regain their, their own strength, their own peace of mind and space. So there are a lot of healing tools. And I think Menakshi has um, a few people on different weeks that share some of those healing tools um, that we have. And so this is just a reminder that when you move back into your source and your center of grace, that people will come to ask questions and you bring up whatever tools you have, whether it's your voice, music, sound, or other things, or just listening. And the best one is to listen. Because when people learn from you, they want to come back and share what they learn within them, what they know, and it gets deeper. They feel that they've so when two do as in my name done. So when we work in, um, with a group, we work with ourself and source. Source contains the divine presence of the Christ consciousness. It contains in it the divine presence of the Buddhic wisdom. It contains in it the divine presence of the Sufi light. It contains in it the divine presence of all things on earth. And with this, we realize that we can stay in that divine presence wherever we are to listen or to touch or to speak. And listening to our sixth and seventh sense is really, really important because that's what brings the synchronicity. We don't have to ask questions about, is this good or bad? Because is it, if it's presenting itself to us, we will have the tools to transform it. And we will have the tools to recognize it and let it go. But if we give ourselves a moment of time to see it, then it might just transform before us and we don't have to ask the question. So again, listening and not responding or responding is all perfect. <laughs> Does anybody have anything else to share with them? I just wanted to share two things about uh, which are, you know, about this recording. Will be I'm just placing because sometimes people ask me, where will it be? So it's in this channel which I've just sent you the link, and also that next Sunday this is going to be a part of our spring um, retreat online. And so uh, the, the link for this meditation will be different. So if you haven't already, then please sign on to uh, the spring. I think all of you must have received the, the invitation. And if not, then I'll just place it there. 
but now I'm taking myself on mute and as somebody else can speak. But please mm -hmm. sign on to that event so you'll get the Great. Would anybody else like to share anything? In yeah, I also would just thank you. Thank you uh, to Vita very much for the meditation. And I always enjoy, just like the other people say, very relaxing, very pleasant, very nice. And also, I wanted to just say one other thing. Um, at the very end, when you talked about the pyramid, that was a, it brought up a thought of mine. At the first Sunday of every month, the zero balancing um, has a Zoom call at four o'clock. And, and on their call, the, 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 uh, the person who invented zero balancing is Dr. Fritz Smith. And he also does a pyramid meditation. So it's interesting that you talked about the pyramid. And then the first thing I thought about was is Fritz and how he does his pyramid meditation. And during that, it's kind of interesting. They, they have a lot of people on this call. And then, and then they go through like a zero balancing session. And I don't know how they do it, but I just, I find it fascinating. If anyone else wants the uh, Zoom link, just, just let me know and I could send it to you. It's the first Sunday of every month at four o'clock. And Great. It's a, it's not like a massage, but it's like a virtual massage. And the guy goes through their whole body and like gives you a massage. But he does like 40 people at the same time, but it's called zero balancing. But I'm just saying massage just to give you a, a it, it's, it's something interesting to see if you've never seen it at some point. But anyways, I just, when you talk about the pyramid, I thought about Fritz Smith and, you know, the founder of zero balancing and he's, yeah. he's always on the call. So that was interesting. Great. That that's really important because um, I didn't know what was going to come up today um, until just just a little before. And it's no mistake that we're here and you brought in the zero balancing. Um, I was connected to zero balancing many years ago in Singapore, and somebody who was very close to who knows the person who did started zero balancing was in my my courses um in my class or connected with me um and it's it's very powerful and it's it's great and it seems to be coming up more i saw it somewhere else on uh, something else that was brought up so um yes i do recommend that would be a wonderful thing to do zero balancing is um is essentially what we're doing, we're zero balancing, but we are actually, zero balancing actually goes further than just balancing it like this. Um, we are all linking in the pyramidal light to bring in a new source light coding of information. So as you zero balance, you receive it as you do in many of the other healing modalities now. The balance is zero balance, spatial light. Spatial light does the same thing. These, all the energy frequencies of zero balance, network spinal and analysis, um, Jin Senzitsu have reached new levels. And if you can't make a, a session somewhere, you can always ask in a quiet time of your own space to bring in those energies and you will feel them and you will experience them and you will clear, heal and transform with them. They're all at your fingertips at any space or time. They're there to help heal you just like um, ESA is when I had broken my wrist and I called it on the airplane to take away the pain. I just said ESA, ESA, ESA. And it went down and took my blood down to the very base and took away all the pain. So there are many, many people working with zero, well, with different things, zero balancing, spatial light, Reiki and other modalities. They each have something slightly, sometimes slightly different, but as the frequencies are getting higher, 
they're all tending to raise their vibrational frequencies to this new light coding, this higher frequency, which more people can access when they go to say Reiki healing or something else. So um, remember to tap into these um, and you will get beautiful connection and you will add to the group if you can't make it or if you're adding to the energy of that healing modality in spirit and space. Thank you, Tree. Anybody else? Something to share? Marilyn or Minu or anybody? I just want to say thank you very much for taking our time and doing meditation with us. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there isn't much else I have to say. Uh, we just want to really thank you for coming to this meditation and Minakshi, who has been the base and transformer for so many people. She is providing an, an amazing service to everyone. And um, as we do our work and we reflect the people that we connect with of like minds first, and we are healing ourselves, that energy goes out to those who have supported us, worked with us, love us and know us, and it multiplies and it expands as, as magnified healing, which magnifies it just not onefold or tenfold or a thousandfold. It multiplies it now a millionfold. So through your thoughts and through your words of what you choose to create within your space of what you know, there is no limits. It's unbounded, it's eternal, and it's infinite, the space we're in. And each thought that you carry carries a greater light frequency to go out and heal and transform. And Minakshi has provided myself and everyone here and others, just like other spaces around the planet. So I thank you, Minakshi. And with that, let's just breathe in the light, feel the energy. and send out those light waves. Feel the golden seal of your soul core around you. See the guardians of light, the shields of light, the angels of light, the fragrance of light. flowing out from the flower of light on your third eye. Feel it blossoming and moving up through your crown. Feel it going farther and farther out, merging with the mind consciousness of you and your being into the souls of the earth and beyond into the source and beyond into the cosmos and feel your understanding and your knowledge and your trust growing deeper and deeper within you. It's beginning to resonate through your vocal cords, through the essence of your being, through your prime creator and through all that you are and all that you be and all that you will be for you are infinite. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Namaste. Breathe in and have a great week, everybody. <laughs>